trying to join the real Eagles in Minnesota. Let's go. And when I talk about experience, these are both guys. They both got on the scene last year and were able to make names for themselves in just that short of a time. So though they don't have a ton of experience, they're rapidly rising through the ranks and becoming cream of the crop when it comes to Madden players. And you got to love that about esports. See new faces. We saw some high-powered offense at the club championship for Goes. Did not have that high-powered in his first game. Both of these guys are going to lock in. We got a good one here. This one's a treat to end the day. And, of course, we'll be checking in on Seahawks and Rams as we move through this one. You're pretty good when you go into your red zone mode, Scott. <laughs> might, might That's when I it. go over 9,000. And there's a fake snap to start things off. And you're on aggressive. That's going to cost you five. There you go. Get him to jump. And he's in that nickel 335 defense. It's hard. To, part of the meta is it's hard to get him to jump from that front. But there you saw it. Both able to get Figgy to jump. First and five at the 32. There's also certain formations that do make that certain three man front jump. And there's a party at the quarterback. Loss of six, second and 16. And it's good to see Ghost play in defense like that. One thing coming out of the Redskins club is Ghost has always been known for having a very prolific and high-powered offense. However, his defense flourished at that Redskins club, and people were talking about it. It's going to be very scary if he's able to be that dominant on defense with how good his offense is. But Figgy, this kid is no pushover. He's been one of the hottest players dating back to last year. This is two juggernauts. Wentz, big time throw to Grant. Right there at the marker. It's going to be 31. That's that possession catch that everybody can't stand because it'll sometimes take you out of bounds. But that time, Figgy throws it. Yeah, well in bounds. Yeah, well yeah, right there at the numbers. Ooh, There's bubble. a fumble, and that gets out of bounds. First and 10 at the 39. This gun punch formation, man, it's just such a staple in competitive Madden. If you're looking to compete and you haven't labbed how to run this formation or how to lock it up, not doing the right things. Both these guys are leaning in. Goes is leaning way in. And Ocho Cinco can't bring that one in. Yeah, Goes on the very edge of his seat right there. He's all the way up. <laughs> I was just saying, look at Ghost, too. He's, a, he's got an underrated set of lettuce right there, as Gibbs would say. Wentz to Chad Johnson. And Figgy's lettuce is it's just on another level. Third and seven here at the 42. Wait, how about EA Sports Esports today? Madden, FIFA? Oh, yeah. I bring that up because Chad Johnson... Big proponent of both of those games. Yes, he is. Third and seven. The announcement with the ESPN. See some ultimate huge league day. in the finals. Yeah. It's, it's huge day for Madden football. Cool stuff. Huge day. And the, it, it feels like every other month there's big news for competitive Madden. You know, whether it's, you know, going from eight clubs to 32. Uh, Joe going to Echo Fox. Things like that. The oh, yeah. ESPN deals. It's just con the, the pace at which this stuff is growing is insane. And it's just so exciting to be a part of it. Cook gets to the 48. I mean, Figgy's going to face a second and 10. When we were walking around out there at the Pro Bowl, you should have seen how many people were stopping Mike Skimbo and trying to get a picture. It was ridiculous. I couldn't even go anywhere with the guy. At one point, I'm like, Skim, get away from me, man. We can't, can't make any moves. <laughs> Everyone wants a picture. It's awesome to see. And yeah, second and ten. And there's oh, the goes! fumble. And goes! Night Train Lane will scoop it. And goes, has the rock. Big time turnover. Biggie checks down to the flat. Goes, clicks on. Lays the low hit stick with the secure tackle. It recovers the fumble. And we talked about it. His offense is high powered. But if he can keep playing this stingy defense. He is going to be trouble for anyone in this tournament. Currently trouble for Figgy. How are you going to respond, Fig? That's the powered up tier five Amos with a big hit. People like that Amos. He's got a lot of speed, and you mentioned it. 
can make the hits as well. Yeah, and that secure tackler. One of those few guys with a ton of speed, but also that secure tackler ability. Which is one of the most popular abilities that we have in Mutt right now. See if Goats can get points off this turnover. Figgy still rocking. And this time he jumps. Wow, they're going to say that was a false start. And that can happen. Second and 15 at camp. You do all those fake, the fake snaps to try to get them to jump off sides. There's always, a, there's always a chance for your offensive line to false start. Even when you're on conservative blocking, Coltrane, there's no way to avoid the false start chance. And another movement along the line. Okay, now we're even second and 10. I love this view for Madden football, especially the throws. But those movements along the line, it's easier to see from the side. Second and 10 at the 44. It's a good Mariota to Wallace. And he dropped it. See, Goes has got to stay within his fields here. We, we talked about... He's good at that. He's good at that. Though. Yeah. He is. You see him? He kind of laughed it off, yeah. looked at it, and he's right back to business. And there's Walker in the flats. Such an important skill, man. And like you said, Joe, he said it. He's like, man, when I learned to keep my emotions in check because it was his biggest Achilles heels, he's the best example. Yeah. Game changer. Uh, it's a game changer. Made the finals of the Madden Classic, walked himself into Ultimate League. Made the final four of the Madden Championship last year. It really elevates your game to the next level. That jump on. We'll give him a first down for goes. And these guys are going to make sure that they tone down some of the aggressiveness on the line. <laughs> and, and, and look how similar they are. They're both in the bunch. They're both running the nickel 335. It's like a mirror match. And here's another flag. Neutral zone infraction. We've had more flags in the first three minutes of this game than the last three days. Yeah. Mariota rolling. Try to throw across his body there. 0-0 zero, zero here. Guys, what's going on in the other game? In this game, Killer Mike is anxious to get up to Minnesota and defend that belt. Rico, a dot up the left side. He wasn't done yet. A little more trickeration coming for you as he runs around that end for the touchdown. Taking a page out of Drag's playbook. Back to you guys. <laughs> All right, so a touchdown game over there. We're still donuts to donuts here in this one. So Killer Mike bust out that wide receiver quick with the single back ace. That's a, that's a tough run play to stop. And here's a big down, RG. Fourth and five. After the turnover, Goes is slowly creeping down the field, but now he faces a key down. Bunch to the left. Figgy will spread his line. Mariota gets out of the pocket. Good stick. Good stick work. That's big stick work right there by Ghost. Doesn't force anything on fourth down. Gets in between the blockers. Goes up field. Protects the quarterback. That's how you make plays if you're Ghost. And now he's in field goal range, Scott. How classic are these two teams, by the way? Redskins, Eagles. And Figgy called it. Sam Shields, who's out there to make plays in that blitzing game. Gets yeah, to the quarterback. And that's what the 14 cap Sam Shields yeah, oh yeah. over there. He's so, way down there. So he's useless in coverage. The <laughs> only thing he's good for is sending him on that nickel blitz. Yeah, the free agent core bronze. Sammy Shields. So Second and 19. Ball at the 42. Goes, goes saying up there that he's experiencing an issue. And we're going to pause it. We're going to take a look at this one. So here on this side it is 0-0. Zero, zero. They're going to talk about this here. And we're going to get a look at this one. So we'll stay over on the, on the side for this one. It's the interception for Mike over in this other one. A perfect timing pick. 7-0 on this side. 
Let's go back to the other game here. They figured out the feature and and what the issue was. And so it's seven nothing over there. Let's get back to Redskins and Eagles. As after the talk with some of our officials, he's ready to go. Had A coming open on a playmaker, but tried to go downfield and he drops it. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't make that throw. You playmaker him, you're obviously looking at him. Look at him. Much A just come all the Wide way open there. open with plenty of room to run after the catch. Maybe the user defender initially being there was just enough to scare him away and go to his next progression. Mariota, doesn't matter. There's Marvin Harrison first down inside the red zone at the 18. Oh, look at Ghost's face. He's all business. Look at that man. This is a battle right here. Delaney Walker. Gets it all the way to the 12. Second and four. Looking for our first score in this one. Remember, Ghost got the stop on Figgy, so he gets the ball to start the second half. In control right now in Figgy's red zone. And this single back ace. I love this formation, Coltrane. Hard formation to stop. Double tied in. He's going to run the stretch. No dive. It's right to Herschel Walker. He tries to get to the marker, and he can't. So it's now third and one at the nine, and that's the end of the first quarter just like that. Five minutes in the books, 15 to go. Winner goes to Minnesota. The Super Bowl is there, RG. Pretty good teams playing in it, too. <laughs> Save your, save your quick, you know, your little, snap, your little stat. And yeah, no, cooked up. That, save it for tomorrow. No, nah, it's for tomorrow. You got to come back. I got a good one. I'm glad you, you gotta come back. Hey, hey, hey. remember. I it's got, in there. I got one, dude. Third and one. Saw him use his formation at the Redskins Club Championship. Oh, got to throw it. And he does. Boy, a little late getting that out of there. Touchdown, Wallace. Good play. Right there by Ghost. Third and one. Figgy thinks it's going to be a run. So he run commits. You do that by pressing the left trigger down on the right stick. Your whole defense commits. Ghost smart enough to call the pass and play. Throws the quick slant. He's up a touchdown. All right, let's slide over to the Seahawks and the Rams. Mike's in the red zone at the seven to start the second quarter. Hands it off. And McKinnon. He's going to lose some yardage there and push him all the way back to the 12. And the bell is tolling. Third and goal now. Can't, you can't count prime out of any of these games from here on out after the comeback. If you're Mike, you, you got to protect the ball right here. He, he might even consider running it inside zone. Right you are, RG, and that'll set up the field goal. Yeah, I, I, I like that call. You want to go up two possessions. Being up two possessions is just so important in competitive Madden, especially when you're only playing five-minute quarters. There's only so much time for your opponent to get fight back through that adversity. And the field goal is up, and it is good. It is 10-0 over there in the NFC West. Let's head back to the east, cross country. Redskins. And Eagles goes seven-point lead, but Figgy's already on the drive. Yeah, already on 35. Goes to 35. Remember, he turned the ball over. Fumble. Start this game. Yeah, user hit stick fumble by Goes. It took Goes 13 plays to go 45 yards. But he finally punched it in, and now Figgy has the ball on the 29, second and four. I like, but I, I paid Ghost a, a, a lot of tribute for, you know, his positive attitude and, you know, I, I've never seen him get out of pocket. Same thing with Figgy, man. That's it, a, a good kid right there, man. O always positive, always in the lab, working hard. I'm a fan of both of these guys. Yeah, Rico and I went out to, to dinner with Ghost and Joke was there as well and Ghost's brother was there and it was... Sonin. We had really a pleasant time eating some seafood. The legend of Sonin, Ghost's brother. <laughs> First he, down for Figgy. He actually qualified for the New England Club Series last year. 
Well, this year they competed in the same club series. Well, it's, it's what are they doing? They, you you got to diversify. You got to spread it out. I had a brother and he did that. I'd snap on him. <laughs> oh! Throw to the end zone and almost picked off. Good defense. That PA post post route is hard to defend, especially if you're not doing it as the user. But Ghostus has two guys in position. Think he needed to wait an extra split second if he wanted a chance at completing that. Bunch to the right. Wentz. Uh-oh. Just throws it away. Smart play by Figgy. It's going to bring up a third and ten, RG. It goes in control right here. This is big. If he can force Figgy to take three and then go down and get a touchdown, go up two possessions before half and get the ball. Be look, look at that defense. There's no help on the outsides. It's cloud flats with two quarter halves. That was weird defense right there by Ghost. I like when you get to see that exotic stuff. That's a custom defense he built right there out of the cover four. He did a cover four and put the deep quarters on the outside and cloud flat zones. For those that don't know in Madden, you have so much control at the line of scrimmage where you can constantly change your defenders' assignments, change the coverage adjustments, shift the line. And these guys are masters at that. Fourth and seven. Figgy, going to try to take the three here. Oh, Ghost got the block! Oh, and he got blocked block. it! He's got oh, rope! And he scooped it! Look at the emotion! He's going up the sideline! Oh, he's still and Ronnie Long he's breaks still a tackle! On. At the 30! The oh, 20! No, Cooks can't missed. catch him! Touchdown goes! The crazy thing is, listen to this, Coltrane. When we were at lunch earlier today, Ghost was with me. He promised me he was going to block a kick in this tournament. He guaranteed it to me just today at lunch. And there he is in the biggest game of his life thus far. Goes and blocks it, goes up two possession, gets the ball at half. Biggie is in a predicament here. He needs to respond. It's not over yet. No, it's a long way for being over. Oh, this is tough, though, for Figgy. Take a look at this replay. And Figgy was holding it. I think it felt like he knew it was coming. Use a block kick. And look at Lott with the big broken tackle. Once his tackle rating's got to stink. And then Cooks just runs out of juice. Oh, he's a mess. And Ronnie Lott scores. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that, Coltrane. He told me in D.C. that Spoto gave them the recipe. Yes. For blocking these kicks. Yes, and that's what he was telling me at lunch. And Spoto was, considers himself the block kick specialist. Flying it into Ghost. And Cooks gets absolutely leveled. Boy, Figgy, you feel like you got to get something here before the half just to try to flip the momentum. And that's one of the biggest complaints. People, the block kick's a controversial thing in competitive Madden. The one thing I can get behind is once you get them, the frequency that they go back the other way for a touchdown is just so high. It's just such a game-changing play. So 14 to nothing here with 2.13 to go. Oh, my heart goes out to Figgy. That's rough. He's got some adversity to fight through. But you know what? People have fought through worse and have prevailed. Keep your head in it, Figgy. This is a big drive. We've had some amazing games here today. 12 in total. So we're going to hold down A and continue through halftime in this one. Man, he just looks good, Coltrane. He's got good defense. And gosh forbid he starts being able to play special teams because that's always been his weak point, but he's already got a touchdown on special teams there. Yeah. He's in control. Ghost is going to use a timeout here before the two-minute warning, so fourth and forever. Figgy's got to kick it away. No, he's going to go. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. This is huge. you got to watch the smart routed out route. Two smart routed out routes are an in route. And a smart routed from the slot receiver will probably keep the tight end and running back in the block. Max protect. Yep, there it is. Good pocket. Picked it up. Now you got to let it go. No. Nope. And Chad Johnson can't hold on. And now goes Madden. Is in full control. Yeah. This is getting ugly because he's already in field goal range to make it three possessions. Gets it to start the second half. Goes is in, like you said, Scott, complete control. And Walker fake trucks and then really trucks to the 17. Goes Madden. 
It's Hass just an easy throw. Hassan's ball from North Brunswick, New Jersey, 20 years old. His record on the ladder was 48 and 7. Washington Redskins champion, diehard Redskins fan. Trying to crush Biggie's dream of being able to go see his Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl. Of course, Figgy was 52 and 8. But Let's go not Goes was only giving up seven and a half points per game on the ladder. Yeah, nobody else seems like they were giving up single digits like that. I mean, you got. So he's been stingy. Yeah. Very, very stingy. Yeah, Figgy was giving up 12. Goes only seven. Second and nine now at the 16. The Redskins need this glory right now over the Eagles. The Eagles have been swagging all over the place this season in that NFC East. 14 to nothing. 120 to go at the 12-yard line. You mentioned he's already in field goal range to go up three possessions. A touchdown just might break the back of Figgy. I need to ask Ghost. I wonder where the Ghost nickname came from. Usually we get time to sit with these sure. guys. You can ask them the origin of their nicknames. There's 100 Madden players here, RG. It's so hard <laughs> to keep up with all of them. I've been overwhelmed, Scott. It's not something I'm used to. Well, we'll only have eight up in Minnesota. One of these guys is heading there, and right now we've seen a lot of comebacks, but it's looking like 17 to nothing. It's looking pretty good for Goes. Yeah. This game, this, this is it right here for Figgy. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of time left in the game. We've seen crazier things. But you got to think he needs to do something here on this drive, Coltrane. He's got no timeout, 70 seconds before the half, and you're trailing by three possessions. And remember, Ghost runs your, your exact playbook, so it's going to be really hard to catch him off guard with anything. Wentz. Once again, sacked. Aggressive pass rush by Ghost, and this is what we saw from him in Washington. He's good on offense, but he has been in the lab on defense, and his defense has been stellar since he showed up there at that Washington Redskins club series and took care of business. Without the block kick, though, it's 10-3 to at this point. Worth noting, Wentz. Throwing on the run Good and an unbelievable rope out to Cooks. No timeouts, though. No timeouts, so the clock's ticking, Coltrane. Boy, this throw on the run is perfect. That was a good throw. You mentioned the clock on the move, and surprise, surprise, we got another flag. Leonard Williams this time jumped in that nose tackle position. First and five. That'll stop the clock. No timeouts for Figgy. Touchdown would be everything. And it's picked oh. off. Ronnie Lott again. He's wearing the Josh Norman jersey, and he's balling out on defense. And for the first time, Figgy's showing some of that frustration, and I don't blame him. This is a tough game. He's trying to make something happen. Ghost clicks on. Perfect time and user pick. I think he's saying something there. He's not happy, though. I mentioned before, we're, we're skipping halftime. I'm holding down A. It's we're getting, moving man. on. It's late, Coltrane. We've been here all day, man. We've been here most of the week, RG. It's 940 here on the East Coast. Let me give you a weather update. 62 degrees, partly cloudy. It's a dinner in my life. <laughs> First and ten. I have to tell you, when I one time when I was a weatherman in Arkansas on the late night news, I was terrible. I was awful at it. It was terrible. You were a weatherman. I was. I did weather Shut and up. the sports on an NBC station in Northwest Arkansas, and I was awful. <laughs> Second and ten. They handed a Walker. And that should do it for the first half. I need to and if you're goes, and if you're the Washington Redskins, you're loving it. You need to dig up that footage, Coltrane. 
I think it's on Betamax. I mean, you got to go way back. We got a $50 bribe if you want to <laughs> dig that up for me. You got to dig that up. Out of Fayetteville, Arkansas. 17 to nothing here at the half, and ain't no need for pausing. Let's just keep it going. Keep it going here. Um, yeah. With this game. But Ghost Madden's like, uh. Are you, are you waiting to see if he has his weight? Yeah, yeah Ghost Madden's like, hey, I need some water. We don't have to wait? Yeah, as soon as you guys are ready. Well, let's take a quick look at this other game here between the Seahawks and the Rams. We'll show you how we got here. It's a pick six that really turned things over as Killer Mike throws this one deep into coverage. And RG, he's going to take this all the way back. Wow, they got a ball game over there. Oh, that was nasty by Prime, too. I don't know, Coach, and I think I'm ready for this one to be the feature match. Well, you, and he's about to tie it up. Well, uh, uh, oh, is no! he? No! No, he didn't do that, Prime. Yes, put your face in your palm. That's out of line. So we are live. Yeah, let's With 324 rock. to go. He got fully Dakibe Matumboed on that extra point. Denied. This is big right here. Kill with Mike versus prime time. This is a game. Ball to 50. McKinnon. Juking and jiving his way to the 35, 37 yard line, excuse me. Killer Mike's got to be frustrated. Prime's lone touchdown coming from a pick six. It's never fun when you're playing stellar defense like that and you just give away a freebie. And that's Madden this year. Madden 18. Sometimes it's a battle of who wants to give it away on offense more. So first and ten. McKinnon. Moves it forward three yards. That is going to bring up a second and seven. Don't worry, we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the Redskins Eagles. But right now it's 17 to nothing as they move into the third quarter. 10 to nine here. Out west in the NFC. Final games of the day. We'll be back tomorrow. I, lo I love those player cams right there, Coltrane. You want to talk about intensity? Just take a look at those player cams. And here's the bell once again. It's a Seahawks set, huh? Third and four. Is that when they tell the 12th man to stand up or something? <laughs> and sharp. And, and, and you know what? You got to give credit to the Seattle Seahawks who threw their club live event there in Seattle. And... They had one of the best turnouts out of any other club. The people are really into it. One of the better events we've seen all year. So huge shout out to the Seattle Seahawks organization. Yeah, I think the Xboxes over here have the stadium sounds on. The Xboxes on the other side don't. But I love it. I like I like the bell, the toll. I like the little sounds in the stadium. I don't mind. The, I don't mind the stadium sounds at all. It just gets awkward when we let Brandon and Charles' audio <laughs> stay on with ours and. It's not happening. They do their thing, we'll do our thing. Those guys are good too, man. They're a great addition to Madden. Oh yeah, especially the uh, way it stays up to date throughout as Killer Mike has moved it all the way down to the seven yard line now. And that missed extra point. Will that be the difference in this game? Oh, that would be devastating. Imagine ending your season off the missed extra point. Oh, be terrible. Ball to seven, first and goal for Mike. Carter, wide receiver quick. That quick is hard to stop, especially here in the goal line. I actually, look how tired McKinnon is. I think that's that? why he's going to the, to the, the quick, to the quick yeah, run McKinnon here. McKinnon is way too tired. Prime doesn't know that though. Under 40 to go in the third. One point lead for Mike. Yeah, not having the backup running back and salary cap is sometimes it can hurt you. Yeah, McKinnon is absolutely juice, but it doesn't matter. Jerry Rice, who I'm not sure had a rushing touchdown in his entire career, scores here. And how important is this extra point? It's oh. up and it is good. And so an eight-point lead over here on the NFC West. Let's go east. 17-0 between Goes and Figgy. 305 left in the third. And it's a fourth and 13 at the 37. 
Oh, awesome yeah. big play. You feel like if you don't if you don't get a stop here, RG. Yeah, no, this, this is. This could be it. I think you get yourself some momentum right here. Mariota, there there's go. a screen machine. And Figgy's got the ball at midfield. Let's go. There you go, Figgy. Defense right off the edge. Misses the block. The nickel blitzer. Those have been in control majority of the game. Can Figgy battle back? Throws it to the corner. And now he's down to the 18. He's in the red zone. Well, Figgy's still into it. Field goals won't do it, RG. Cooked up a nice dot. Some good separation there. And he, like you said, field goals aren't going to do it. But big chunks of yardage like that. I, I will tell you this. At one point yesterday, Chaos was up 21-3. to And Jay's the best. Dude. Came back, blanked him in the second half, and won that game. 32 to 21. It was a wild. It was, it was, it was a wild game. Don't even get me started on JS. As soon as I saw him today outside at the Pro Bowl festivities, we're on the field for the... Oh, the go. big moment that we opened the show yeah, with. Yeah, for yeah. the AFC practice. And I kind of saw JS, caught him out the corner of my eye. I said, dude, good comeback, man. He just kind of winked at me, gave me a <laughs> smile. But that was some impressive stuff by him. I can't wait to watch him play tomorrow. And yeah, see some of those highlights tomorrow when we talk about JS... Off tackle left. The move he made in the Ravens Club Championship. And Cook gets in there. Oh, Figgy's talking to him. Figgy letting Ghost hear about it. And all of a sudden, we got a ball game. And look at him. I like his body language. I like his aura. And goes mad and just takes a sip of his tasty beverage. But it should be 10 to 10 right now, worth a note. Yeah, the block kick was just huge, but if you think he, you know that you're still in this game. If that doesn't happen, you know you can compete with this guy. It's not like you're getting outclassed completely. Uh-oh. Oh, That'll go out good. of bounds. But, uh, no, Figgy's in this. It's a ball off. at the 40. Nice run there by Cook. A little off tackle off the strong close. That was a big part of the meta back in Madden 10. You don't see it as much anymore, but Figgy pulling it out. All kind of space on the outside. They'll run it with Walker. And all of a sudden, Figgy's got a little emotion, got a little momentum. A little bounce in his step. Though he's been bouncing all day long. Let's be real. Big shout out to our crowd here that's been here a majority of the day. A lot of players that are still in it. A lot of guys that just love some Madden. Big shout out to our production crew. All the folks here that have been just grinding all day for the love of Madden. Second and 12 as Walker works to the 44. Third and six now. Got to punch him off the field if you're Figgy. Shotgun formation. Mariota. And he finds Grant. Wow. Boy, he had some big throws. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go to your real dots. And I think he said something else. Yeah, I, I won't, won't repeat. repeat. I think he said Musafa <laughs> after that. I heard that they were digging into you in that chat. It was called <laughs> Mustafa. Hey, I'm a big Lion King fan, you know? My girlfriend, Tracy, she texted me and said, Ryan, they're digging into you guys right now. To correct that, we I, have, I we will have quote. Fun. I will quote Billy. Uh, you know, I will quote Adam Sandler from The Wedding Singer. I have the microphone, so you'll listen to every word I have to say. <laughs> That's such a good movie, too. <laughs> I, bet, I bet you so many young bucks haven't seen that movie, Coltrane. No. That's a classic, though. Second and nine. Wedding Singer is a great one. Adam Sandler in his prime. Hey, I take some L sometimes. You know, it just yeah, it happens. Do. We all do. Uh, trust me, I, I've taken plenty. Second and nine. Ball to 24. Only thing I will say, RG, a nice throw that can't get his feet in bounds. You bet I'll be saying Musafa the rest of the time. I know the name now. <laughs> Maybe I didn't know it earlier, but I know it now. I like mixing it up. Musafa, Mustafa. Both of them good names. 
And Rico had the good king of the jungle joke with it. <laughs> so 39 is a 24. Throws him open. Coach says, I got glitches, man. Casually throws a 12 to 15 yard dot right there. That C route out of that PA post, that corner strike, it, it's just so, so effective. It's just such a big part of the meta. If you can't get pressure, if you can't stop the quarterback from rolling to that side, I it's mean, pretty much good night. And Herschel Walker is just being awkward back there. One of my Let's call a timeout. One of my favorite YouTubers is this guy Holden, who uh, if you haven't seen him, you got to check him out. But he does breakdowns of the play calling of all these players. And he was wow. just talking about the PA post and the corner strike. Uh, good statistical breakdowns. If you've never seen Holden, recently signed by Matt and Daly, you got to go check out my boy because got some great Is this the guy that's also on Twitter putting up the cool graphics? Yeah, he's got oh, man, all he's the killing. stats. I mean, the, the kid is a lab rat. He, I'm a huge fan of his. I love his content. I'll probably add him to my Christmas card list. I mean, it means that much to me now. Yeah, no, it's great, Coltrane. you got to check him out. 24-7 to after the touchdown by Goes. And we're in the fourth quarter. This is, this is going to be a big hole to climb here yeah. in the yeah. NFC East for Figgy. So let's take a moment. Let's transition. Let's go out west at Seahawks.